Welcome back to My Crazy Pilates Life. I'm your host, Paola Karoom, and today we have a um, reformer flow that I've created that I'm going to be actually teaching um, tomorrow in El Segundo at Studio Pilates, covering for Victoria that runs a reformer class there. So I've designed, designed this class, and I want to see how it goes. So let's begin with standing work. So always when I stand, I'm going to go ahead and place my fist in between my feet. And I want my feet to come up as close like, as possible to my fist. That ensures that these femurs are right underneath the hips. My feet are parallel. And I'm going to start off by some lateral rib breathing. And as I breathe, I'm going to activate the three hot spots of my feet. There's two hot spots, one on the big toe, one on the small toe, and the one on the back heel. So it creates a tripod effect on the feet, and I'm going to press my weight in that feet as I breathe. Inhale. Exhale. Three more breaths. Inhale through the nose. Rib cage expands like an accordion. Drawing the abdominals down towards the spine with the exhale. One more breath. Good. And that just ensures that breathing ensures that the mind and breath are going to be in line. Ready? We're going to begin with some knee bends. So I'm going to go ahead and bend the knees. Straightening the legs. Bend the knees. And straight. So it's a simple knee bend, and you want to imagine that you're sliding down an imaginary wall. The tailbone is shooting down. Last one here. Good. Now I'm going to transfer the weight to the hot spots of my feet, to the two front ones. So I'm going to roll the way up, bring the heels down. Inhale and exhale. Last one. Rotation, sliding those shoulder blades back and down, belly's pulled in. The hot spots of your feet are engaged. Inhale. Exhale to rotate towards the right. Come back to center. Again. Last set. One more. Lateral rib breathing, inhale, excuse me, lateral flexion, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale. Lateral, lateral flexion of the spine, inhale, feeling taller and lifted. You're getting a big stretch, and then exhale. Stacking up tall again. Exhale to bend that elbow, bring it down towards the waist again. No rotation, just side bend. I just caught myself. And one more. So I like to imagine I'm a piece of toast and I'm going into the toaster oven and I don't want to get burned. So I'm trying desperately not to rotate, building myself up taller. And exhale, I'm coming down. Good, two roll downs, inhale, and exhale, rolling down, inhale, exhale, pull back up, stacking up the, from the base of the spine, head, neck, and shoulder to come up last, arms come up, and not to the side, one more here, inhale, exhale, pull the belly in, leading with the crown of the head, Keep the weight of the body on those hot spots of the feet. Inhale at the bottom. Exhale, pull the belly in deep towards the spine. Coming all the way up, press those hips forward. Inhale. And exhale. Parallel squat. So here I'm now going to be getting closer to the reformer. Okay? But I'm not going to be sitting down. So I'm still in that parallel. And I'm going to do these 
Five squats. The lowest one will come onto the reformer. Let's begin. Getting a little closer down to the bottom. Last one. Coming on. We're coming for um, footwork, so we're lying on our back, and I'm going to have three red springs on. Pay attention to the alignment as we lie down supine. So I'm going to pay attention that each side of my arm has enough room on, on the carriage. The shoulder blades are back and down, chest is open, and my feet are going to be on the heels, and we're going to begin with five sets of each. So my knees are tracking over the toes, arms are down, chest is open. Inhale to prepare. And before we begin, I want to talk about that neutral spine. So, taking a look at your pelvis here, imagine that there's a small ladybug tunnel down uh, that, uh, that, yeah, that can be, um, that can go through the back of my spine. So, we're not, um, we're not going to smash that ladybug. We're going to allow that ladybug to go through, or you're going to be holding an imaginary cup of water here. We don't want to let it spill. Good. As soon as you identify your neutral position, heels are on the foot bar and, and you're in a strong dorsiflexion of the foot. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, force the carriage away. Bend the knees to come back in. Two more. Last one. Good. Transferring now to the balls of the feet. The weight of the body is on the first and second toe. You're on a half high heel. Pay attention to the ankle alignment. Do not let the heels fall. Keep the heels in, in space, in line, in space. Again. You can inhale or exhale as you press away. I like to exhale to press the carriage away. Inhale to bend the knees back in. Last one here. Keep the toes where they are. You're just going to bring the heels together. The heels are married. Imagine a hundred dollar bill between the heels. Do not let it drop. Um, and from here, I like to inhale to press the carriage away, zipping up through the inner thighs as if I was one long big zipper. And then the knees to come back in. Three, four more. Zip. Get those inner thighs working. You're feeling this wonderful wrapping this sensation around the thighs. That's what I want. Good, coming back in. Nice. Heels in the wide position. Let's go, press the carriage away. Coming back in. Make sure that the knees are tracking over the toes. And for this one, we are working the tops of our knees, so pay attention. Imagine it as if you were drawing the kneecaps up towards your head as you straighten the legs. Last one. Good. I'm going to come back onto the balls of my feet for the last variation for flex roll of Press the carriage away, keeping the legs straight. Pay attention to the alignment here, real quick. Melt the heels underneath the foot bar and bring it back up. Last one, running in place. One heel drops as the other one relevates up. Press both legs straight and alternate. You can go as fast as you want with running in place, so long as that the hips do not rock and roll. Last set here. 
Inhale. And exhale, bend the knees to come back in. Hug the knees into the chest and rock the low back out. Releasing any tension in the low back. Bring the legs back onto the foot bar. The legs are married. You're holding on to the pegs in the back of you. I'm going to open my chest. My elbows are wide. And I'm going to, let's see, knock the knees over to the right as I turn my gaze to the opposite direction. Exhale to pull the knees back into center and my gaze returns to the center as well. And I'm going to switch. I'm going to knock my knees over to you as my gaze looks towards the opposite direction. The last one. And last, last one. Ugh, you're so good. Great. Bring your hands behind the thighs, pull the belly in, and roll up to sitting. I want you to change the springs now for one breath, and we're going back to up for supine arm work. So we're still in the supine position, and now we're going to work our arms. <clears throat> we're holding on to the short straps. I'm pressing my legs. A little bit halfway, and I'm going to engage my abdominals and bring my legs into tabletop. My arms are going to be straight towards the ceiling, and my arms are in front of the shoulder to begin with. Um, we're going to begin with working the arms, so we're going to inhale to prepare. Exhale, draw the arms down towards the carriage. Hover at the bake here, hovering at the end, and then you're going to bring the arms up. Now, for those of you that want a deeper abdominal engagement, you can come up into a, a forward flexion and maintain the upper body in this position, which I will do. That's just going to get more abdominal work as I work my arms. So supine arm work is a beginner arm workout where we coordinate the abdominals and the arms to work together. Last one here. Hold, rotate, uh, excuse me, uh, rotate the palms towards the hips. Now we're going to open up the arms out to the side like an airplane. Inhale. Exhale. Energy. Bring everything back to the center of the body. Inhale. Two more. Last one. Good. Bring my palms down towards the carriage and I'm going to bend my elbows for triceps. Two more. Next one. Hold it long. Circles. For one, two. So when you're in this forward flexion position, you want to make sure that the abdominals are pulled in. Reverse the stirs or the circles. And that you're not passing the tips of your shoulder blades. Creating a deep C-shaped curve. Good. Bring the arms up to the sky. Take a break here for a second. We're going right into hundreds. Inhale to prepare. Exhale. You're going to draw the arms down towards the side of the waist. Bring the upper body up, not passing the shoulder, uh, shoulder tips. Extend the legs long. Or for those of you who want to keep it intermediate, bring the legs up high. Towards the ceiling, I'm going to bring my legs down lower. Good. And I'm going to pulse the arms. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Arms are long. 
You're holding that imaginary peach between the chin and the chest. Last set. Bend the knees, return the arms. Back up, head, feet on the foot bar. Woo! Just take a break here. After hundreds, you should feel very warmed up and set for the rest of the workout. Good. You're going to be coming up and adding a glute for feet and stretch, and we're coming back down on, onto our backs. Good. Now we're going to be working our legs, our lumbar pelvic stability, and getting a great um, work for our dynamic flexibility as well. So those are the three principles as to why we practice our feet and straps. So once the feet are fed, make sure that the strap is secure on the mouth of the heel, not the balls of the feet. Good. The legs are gonna be parallel and married. Arms are down by the side. And I'm gonna allow the legs to come up as much as I can with making sure that my tailbone is down on the mat. And that's not press down with both legs. Now people always ask me how long, how far can I go down? And I always tell them, well, you can come down as much as you can without arching the low back. Good, that's my range. And you can come up as long as possible here with just making sure that the tailbone is nice and heavy. Two more in this parallel position. The last one here in this parallel. Good. Now I'm going to be internally rotating my legs. Okay, I'm in an internal rotation from the femurs and I'm gonna draw all the legs down. And I'm gonna maintain that internal connection. Four more. I like to work in an internal now that I'm a little bit older now because we don't really get to work in internal. Well, I don't personally in my real life. So the SU is a great way for me to access that functionality of the hips. Now I'm going to go into external rotation, heels together, toes apart. You should feel this beautiful wrappingness around the outer thigh and the glute area. And you can see if both legs are working evenly. You want to imagine you're drawing, I mean, imagine as if the feet are paint brushes and you want to paint these beautiful straight stripes on the wall. And if, you were, if we were on a connector invented by Victor Yuyang, this would even be more telling because now the legs will be individually uh, working versus this pulley system where you're kind of, it's very easy to sort of cheat here. Good, let's go ahead and come up to the sky and I'm going to split my legs at the top and I'm going to do my circles now. These feel wonderful. Getting deeper into those external rotators of the hips. So my legs are parallel here. They're splitting at the top and parallel. And here I'm going to externally rotate my legs to really come out and around to circle the legs. The last step. So we're moving from parallel to external rotation back to parallel. Drawing the legs up. Let's reverse. Press the legs down. Split. Circle the legs out and around. Four more. Last one. Good, for frogs, bringing the legs down at that 45 degree angle, heels together, toes apart, 
keeping the legs where uh, keeping the, the level of the legs. Let's bend the knees, drawing the knees closer to the chest. Energy shooting out to press the legs straight away. Exhale to bend the knees. Inhale to shoot the legs long and straight in front of you. Shoulders are back and down, chest is open, and press. Good. We're going to get into our dynamic flexibility component where I'm going to bring one foot off of the reformer, I mean the strap, placing it onto the foot bar, and I'm going to allow this strap to now come around my ankle. Holding onto the other strap with both hands, I am controlling the stretch here, and I'm going to begin with my hamstring stretch. The more I bend this supporting leg on the foot bar, drawing this leg closer to the head, the deeper I'm going to get a stretch on the back of the hamstring. For those of you that are looking for a deeper stretch, go ahead and extend the leg long, either underneath or above. Good, place that foot back onto the foot bar. Bring that leg out to an external rotation as you allow this leg to come out to the side. Getting into that single leg, eight deductors, single leg hamstring. Make sure that the opposite hip is down and the shoulders are back and down. Breathe. Imagine you're breathing through this inner, inner thigh here. Cross the leg, back to center, cross the center of the line of the body, allowing the leg to travel across the body, bending this supporting knee even more to draw this leg closer to my leg, and I'm getting deeper into this ITV band, and I want to make sure that this femur is nice and down on the carriage as I cross that leg over. Back to center. Good. Pressing out. I'm going to switch sides. Mm -hmm. I'm going to feed the uh, strap around my right foot and I'm holding on to with both hands with the opposite foot strap. Choose the position that you felt more comfortable in to stretch the single leg hamstring here. Bringing that foot onto the foot bar in a nice external rotation. I'm going to allow the other leg to travel away, keeping this opposite hip on the carriage. Both shoulders are squared up and down. Place your hand on that inner thigh and imagine you're breathing through your hand here. Last breath. Good. Bring that leg back to center. Cross the leg through that imaginary plumb line. Keeping that femur down onto the carriage as you cross that leg over. Getting into that ITB band. Good. Get, bring your leg back to um, position to release the leg from the straps. Dock your straps for me, please. Now, we should be really ready for the rest of the class. We're coming back into kneeling, facing back. So we're going to be facing back. I'm going to just move this here. And I'm going to be on one red. And my foot bar can, my foot bar can stay here. So, kneeling back. So now I'm facing the back. My hands are on the edge of the reformer um, frame. 
my legs or my knees are pressed up against the shoulder rest and my, my arms are right underneath my shoulders. And I'm going to maintain a flat, neutral back. So my head is in line with the spine, my belly is pulled in, and my shoulder blades are back and down. I'm going to prepare by engaging the abdominals, and I'm going to draw the carriage towards my hands, and I'm going to come back to start position. And we're going to go. So I'm working the abdominals and upper body. Three more. Good. Now, I love this version. I'm going to bring my hands up even higher now. Mm -hmm. So now I'm going to be able to draw the carriage draw the carriage so that now my arms are underneath my shoulders and now I'm going to proceed with that abdominal crunch and allowing the carriage to come back in. So I'm drawing the arms straight, pulling the belly in to draw the carriage through the hands. The last one. Good. I'm going to drop it down to one blue. For those of you who are new or intermediate, drop it down to one blue. We're going to work on this oblique. So listen to listen up. I'm going to bring this hand down. See that? I'm going to swing this arm around and I'm going to bring my thumb to thumb together. Okay? Now, here we go. So now I'm in this lateral flexion position. I'm going to draw the carriage in. And I'm going to use the side oblique to draw the carriage through, through and up. Good. Let's switch sides. Bring this hand around. Bring the other hand around. Make sure that the Thumbs are on top of the frame and the thumbs are touching each other. Good. And let's go. Last one. Good. Come back and switch it back down to a red for me, please. One red. Drop the blue. So we should be on one right. For those of you that want a challenge, let's come up. We're going to do a single leg pull. So this is a challenge. Let me do the other leg. I'll be on the leg straight away. And this is where you probably wanted that foot bar down. Let's get back into it. All right. Arms underneath the shoulders. Pick a side. You're going to extend the leg straight. Pay attention to that the hips are squared up towards the mat, the arms are underneath you, and we're gonna begin. For one, two, three, last one. Good, bring that free leg down. The other leg will come up. Single leg, it's a challenge here. Good, let's go. For one, two. Three, last one, four, good, nice. We're gonna come into one yellow, drop the red, kneeling side arms. So now I'm gonna be working the rotator, mus rotator cuff muscles, working on uh, abdominals and lumbar pelvic position in free space. So. Rolling down the shoulder blades, back and down. Arm is on the side. Arm is bent, and you're going to start off with the pull across. So we are on one yellow. For those of you who want it a little bit heavier, you can bring it to one blue. The last one here, and then we'll add the rotation. So the rotation is going to stem from the pelvis through the upper body. So let's go. We're gonna 
Start that rotation from the pelvic pelvis as we extend the arm and straighten them. As we cross the arm and straighten the arm across us. So let's go. Rotate and reach away. Two more. This is great for athletes, anybody who has followed through uh, sports, any racket sports, it's fantastic. Okay, draw a sword. This time I'm gonna bring the, the strap on the other hand and I'm gonna square off the, the hips, slide the shoulder blades down, back and down and the hips are towards you. I'm gonna draw the arm up and extend it out for one. Two, three, four. Good, I'm gonna come out a little bit more because I'm gonna add that rotation. I'm gonna start off in a rotated position. I'm gonna square off my hips as I continue to press away as if I'm drawing a sword away from me and I'm turning the sword into the chief. Again, parallel the hips. The gaze can follow the hand. Whew. Last one in this sword with rotation. Good. Free hand down onto that shoulder rest. The version that I'm going to take today is that the, my my face is um, my gaze is on the hand that's on that shoulder block, raising that arm up over over the head as if we were drawing a bow. We're going to bend and straighten the top arm. One, two, three, four, Now what I'm going to do is. Bring the palm facing up towards the sky to get a different engagement of the tricep. One. Two. Three. Good. Bring that strap down. Before we begin, the other side, I'm gonna just come back and put it on the red here. Take off the yellow. Coming up tall, facing behind us. I'm gonna hold up a little bit higher on the hardware here, and I'm gonna work on chest expansion. So I'm gonna press back, hold. Look to the camera, straight ahead. Look to the other side of the room, straight ahead, and bring, come back to start position. So we're going to press those arms straight and hold. Rotate to the left. Center, right, center, and coming back long. Last set. Dock your straps. Excuse me for my rear view mirror. I'm going to take off the red and I'm going to put one yellow on and we're going to continue on with the kneeling side arms coming off with a um, pull across. So here I'm sliding shoulder blades down, making sure that the hips are squared off and facing forward. Shoulders are back and down. This is all about posture here, okay? Pull the arm across for three more. Good, you wanna draw that arm and cross it over in front of the sternum. The next four, I'm gonna add rotation. So I'm gonna, the rotation stems from the pelvis up through the arm and away. I love working in rotation. You know, we don't typically practice rotation in Pilates. So I try to squeeze it in as much as I can. Good. Draw 
draw a sword. So this time the hand is on holding, uh, the opposite hand is holding the strap and I'm gonna bend my elbow up to that 45 degree angle and I'm gonna straighten the arm away. Bend that elbow and draw that sword back in the sheath. Three more. For those of you that maybe feel like this yellow is a little too light, try a blue, but I would not go higher than that. One more. Let's add that rotation. So I'm gonna just come a little bit away from the shoulder block and I'm going to start in rotation. So I'm looking towards that shoulder block. I'm gonna draw the strap up, squaring off the hips. And I'm gonna extend my gaze towards that hand that's coming away. And I'm gonna return back to start position. Two more. Last one. Great. Dock your strap. Good. <clears throat> now we're going to go into, put a red for me here. We're going to go get our long box and we're going to go ahead and put it on our carriage. I'm going to work on some prone position here. And we're going to put up our foot bar. In kind of the middle setting or the high setting is good. All right, so I'm going to take off one yellow and I'm going to have just one red on, okay? Let's talk about how we're going to get onto this box. So my hands are always going to start on the, this. This doesn't move. So hand, hand, swing one leg around, bring the other leg, and pay attention to the alignment. How am I crumb? The legs are engaged, they are working, the abdominals are lifted as a hot lava is running underneath them. Hands are gonna be right on the foot bar, including the thumb. So no underhand grip, like all the fingers wrapped over. Your nose starts off fairly close to that foot bar. Head in line with the spine. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, press the carriage away. Holding the arms straight, press the arms down onto that foot bar, slide the shoulder blades down. And bring the carriage in into an extension. Exhale to control the torso back down. Bend the elbows to come flat over the foot bar. Again. Two more. Last one. Good, relax for a second. Come off. Switch your box around for a short box. All springs are on. Safety strap is on. If you have a dowel, Go ahead and use that now for shoulder placement. If you have a ball, you can bring the ball between your knees for a little bit of extra engagement, the thighs. And I'm going to bring my foot bar down. And we're gonna begin with three round back, three flat back, and three twists, three sets of twists. So my feet are underneath, hooked under the fit safety strap. My feet are actively pressing away from each other. That gives me a nice opening at the hips. Um, you can just use this ball here if you want. I don't think I need it, but just in case you wanted some extra thigh work, my hands are going to come on the wide position of the dowel. And here, all I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be sitting up nice and tall from here. This is all about sitting posture and abdominals and lumbo pelvic placement. Good. And we're going to pull the belly in, tuck the tailbone, and I'm going to roll back. Allowing the low back to lead the roll down. Inhale the lowest part. Exhale, pull the belly in and allow the abdominals. It's the abdominals that are going to lead you back up tall. 
Inhale, exhale. Articulating down, coming down a little lower this time. Inhale, exhale, pull the belly in. Last one for roll down. Flat back. This is where the low back does not change. Everything stays in one long line. So it's a small hinge. Inhale, exhale, coming up even taller. Again, feeling taller each time before you begin. Hinge. Inhale, exhale. One more. A lot of people go far back and then they start extending the spine. I don't want that. Inhale. Three sets of roll downs. Let's go. Inhale. Exhale. Tuck the tailbone and roll down. Hold. Rotate from the torso. Center. Rotate the other way. So I don't care about the arms. I want the Rotation to stem and start from the rib cage. Keeping that dowel straight, no dipping. Last set. Good. Come back to center. Inhale, exhale, pull the belly in and stack up tall. Tuck that dowel in. Let's go into mermaid. This time one leg will come onto the box. And the other leg is still hooked onto that safety strap. Let's begin. Arms are going to come out long. The leg is going to engage because you're going to be shifting the ribcage towards the well. And then you're going to come back up. Two, we're getting warmed up. Three, now we're gonna go for mermaid. Inhale, exhale. We're using those ballet arms. Inhale, rotate the torso down towards the floor. Exhale, come back flat. Inhale, coming up, and exhale to counter stretch. Let's do that again. Inhale. Exhale, rainbow arcing the top arm and counter stretching. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. You see how I change the breath? You can change the breath. Okay? One more here. This is where I'm going to go into my side sit-ups. Bringing the hand behind the head. Inhale. Head. Press that head into those hands to get a nice back line engagement and you're going to come down and going to come back halfway up for one two imagine you're working between two planes of glass three four five bring your free hands down onto each side of the retorner frame and relax this is a wonderful stretch Bring the right hand to match the left hand. Get a deeper stretch. I just drop the shoulder blade down. I'm gonna place that back hand onto that shoulder head rest, and I'm gonna come up tall, and I'm just gonna counter stretch one more time. And I'm gonna switch sides. Mermaid, so now you can see from the back, yes? So my leg is still hooked up under here. The top leg is bent on top of the reformer box. Arms are long like a ballerina. Inhale, and you're gonna do that rib translation into the well. So the rib cage is leading you into the well. 
One more here. Here we go. You're gonna come up and over using those ballet arms. Rotate the chest towards the floor. Come back out to flat. Come up and counter stretch. So you wanna imagine that you're not rotating here. Everything is as if you're in between two planes of glass. Let's do it one more time. Hands behind the head. Press that head into those hands to activate the back line of the body. We're going to come into five sit-ups. So coming down into the well. Exhale to come up halfway for one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Relax both hands. You're getting a nice stretch. You're done with learning. Breathe. If you want a deeper engagement, bring that left hand to meet the right. Good. Return that arm, hand back to the reformer frame. Bring the back hand onto the shoulder blocks, coming up flat, and you're gonna come up long. Finish off with those beautiful arms and bring the arms down. Good. Facing front. You're coming off of the reformer box. Place that aside. We're gonna get into our single leg knee stretch. Okay. I'm taking the dowel away. And for me, since I have a higher reformer. I'm going to be working on a yoga block because I have an 18 inch frame and I want to make sure that my hips stay square when I do this. So, I'm going to bring the foot bar fairly high on the highest setting. One red, one blue. The standing leg is going to be slightly in front of the pelvis. Okay, so I'm standing on that block. Hands are going to come onto the foot bar. And I'm gonna create this beautiful runner's lunge. So the, the ball, the ball joint, or the toe and the ball of my foot come, it's on the carrot, see that? It's not tucked under, it's just like this. See? Like that, that's a runner's lunge position. Okay, knee is down. I'm paying attention to the upper body here. I'm gonna do a flat version, flat back, okay? so. Making sure that the head is in line with the spine. I'm going to begin by pressing the carriage away, bending that knee to come in. 14 more times. Make sure that the hips are squared, arms are squared off, shoulders are back and down. Beautiful, nice, long neck. I got seven more. Great. I'm going to come up with a long stretch. So I'm going to have one yellow, one red for long a long stretch coming up onto the carriage. I want to make sure that the shoulder, uh, to the head rests up, and I'm bringing the balls of my feet into this channel between the carriage and the shoulder rest. Good. My hands are on the foot bar, and I'm going to press the carriage away, coming into a nice plank position. So you should have one long line from the head to the feet. And we're going to begin by pressing the shoulders away. Drawing the shoulder blades down as you allow the upper body to travel over the foot bar. Two more. Two 
Last one. Good, coming up into that high heel position. Now your glutes are right over the heels. You're gonna start off with a plank, drawing the upper body over that foot part in a flat position. Exhale to start engaging the abdominals to bring the carriage in. Inhale to send the glutes back over the heels. Exhale to press the carriage away for up stretch. So you're getting more action in the shoulders and the hips with this one. Two more. Last one. Ah, I love it. We're going to come down to the other side of the carriage and we're going to bring that yoga block with us to continue on our knee stretch flat back. Single leg knee stretch in a flat back version. This time I'm going to take off the yellow and put the blue on. I want to go a little heavier. Standing leg is slightly in front of that pelvis. Mm -hmm. All right, hands onto the foot bar. You got that beautiful runner's lunge. So the back of my heel is actively pressing into that shoulder block. My hands are back and down and I'm squared off here in the front. All right, here we go. Press that here. Away, control the carriage back in. Exhale. Inhale. Good. 13 more times. Five, four, three, two, one. Ooh Good. We're going to move that yoga block towards the front of the carriage. Drop the blue so you're only on one red. I'm going straight into lunge, guys. So now that top standing leg is in front. My kneecap is down. I'm still in that runner's lunge. And now I'm going to press the carriage away, bending that front knee, getting a nice stretch in the abdominals and psoas. Coming back up again. Good. Inhale. See how I coordinated that? inner hand. So as I press the carriage away, I'm going to lengthen as if I'm shading the body here, coming up. Hold. One, two, three, four, five. Coming up and over. One, two, three, four, five. Coming back up tall. Return the carriage back in. Good. Switch sides for me. Good. So now this top front leg is in, in the front of, um, of the reformer. And we got that beautiful runner's lunge. My kneecap is down. My hands are on the uh, foot bar. And I'm going to press the carriage away, keeping the hips squared off. Shoulders are down in the back. The one, much different on this side. The next one, I'm going to release the inside hand. 
So as I press the carriage away, I'm going to coordinate the inside hand to lengthen, to come up overhead, getting a deeper stretch in the front, superficial front line of the body. Hold, coming up and over. Coming back up tall, center. Inhale. Coming back in. Last one for today, guys. I'm gonna drop, I'm gonna go into Cleopatra because we don't practice Cleopatra too much. This is the last exercise for today. Drop that shoulder, the foot bar down to the lowest setting. We're still on the lower red. Here we go. The feet are gonna be stacked up. They're gonna be on top of each other. They're gonna be after feet, pressing in to the farthest away sh um, shoulder block. Feet are stacked. This hand, this arm is long and in front of the shoulder. This free hand is going to be in front of the carriage. And you're gonna pull that carriage up. So I'm imagining I'm going to lift that carriage up. That's gonna ensure that the chest stays open. My gaze is gonna start and stop here looking at the feet the entire time. So here we go. We're gonna engage the side of the body. The arms are working. We're gonna press that carriage away using the strength of our side body. And as we do so, we're gonna trace our gaze towards the sky. Good. And then you're going to return the carriage with control, and you're going to return your eye gaze towards that feet, keeping that shoulder blade here down. Again. Last one. Pull that hand on that carriage to come up as you press inwards. Good. Let's read. Switch sides. And again, sorry for my rear view mirror. Stacking the feet here. So I'm stacking the feet on the back of the shoulder block behind me. The closest arm is going to be on the foot bar. And the free hand is going to come onto the carriage. And I'm going to actively press and pull up onto that carriage. And I'm going to, the, the, the hand on that shoulder block is going to be Engage and the shoulder blade is going to be back and down. The gaze will start at the feet. Inhale to prepare and exhale to press the carriage away. Stretching out that side of the body and strengthening it as well. Return your gaze to the feet. Two more. Last one. Good, coming back up tall. Nice. Good. So you're coming off of the carriage. Let's stand up for a quick second. Let's do two roll downs to relax. Good. Inhale. Reaching taller. Press those feet into the earth and roll down, leaning with the crown of the head. Stir the arms. Reverse the stir of your arms. Right ball head, yes and no. Press those feet into the earth. Shift the weight to those three hot spots. Pull the belly in and stack. And build yourself up tall, stacking from the base of the spine, mid back, head, neck, and shoulders to come up last. Press those hip forward as the arms raise overhead and out to the side. Let's bend the knees and bring the arms up. Inhale, last one. Exhale, roll down. Inhale, rolling back up again. This time your arms stay to the side of the waist. Roll out the shoulder blades. Reverse. Clasp the hands behind your back. Press the arms away to get a nice big chest stretch. Thank you so much for joining my workout flow today. I hope that the students tomorrow will like this class. I feel like it was a good workout. If you have any questions or comments, please leave a comment in the section. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel. I, I, will, um, I plan to teach all the repertoire here at My Crazy Pilates Life.
Thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you soon. Thanks.